Hey, what's up guys? So I thought I would show you my scene and a little bit of how I did it because I, I saw it had a lot of like um, likes on Reddit so I just wanted to show you like a little bit of my process on how I did it so yeah it's a pretty basic scene it just have some uh, some brick texture some concrete texture these are from pixel uh, but yeah if we go like inside of it if we hide this volume yeah, so if we go into edit mode, we can see that there's a lot of geometry on this wall. That's because I'm also subdividing it, solidifying it so that I, the light doesn't leak through the wall. But yeah, I'm applying a displacement map onto the geometry. If you are using cycles, you can do this with this node over here in the material. But since we are using EV, we have to create a lot of geometry and then displace it with this. So yeah, the glass also is just the basic uh, glass BSDF mixed with a transparent BSDF and it's almost all the way transparent. Uh, yeah, so this is a little bit the same. Uh, pretty much everything that is like concrete and stuff has uh, this displacement on it. So it, it'll, it is also like subdivided, not that much, but uh, it, it, it helps to add a little bit more realism to the scene. This wood material, uh, I have it on my gum road if you want it. So yeah, if you are using cycles for it, you can change these to cycles. So yeah, this is, the, this is like the wood material and if we change like the scale, something like this. I don't know, we can also like change the overall. This is pretty much the scene. Oh yeah, for the, for the girl. Uh, it, it also has a lot of geometry and it's because I added a little bit of a 3D effect on her. It's just uh, object mode. We can see like the, the overall shape. Since the camera is moving like a little bit sideways, I want it to have a little bit of volume and like perspective. I don't know if it helped, I think it did. Also I have this uh, plane over here with a particle system with very small like little particles. Yeah, and these are my settings. It's an emitter and it's emitting uh, an object, an atmosphere. Yeah, the gravity. I, I turned it off and then I added a turbulence, turbulence field. Yeah. So yeah, this is pretty much the scene. Like these are the particles. You end, like when you render it, you end up seeing like two particles. <laughs> you end up seeing like two particles pretty much. So there they are. I think they helped. So yeah, I also did like this plane over here, which only has like this is camera array. This just makes it so that light doesn't pass through, but the camera can see through it. Yet I also have this volume. It's just a cube that covers the, the whole place. And it has just a volume scatter with really little density and a little bit of anisotropy. I don't know what it does, but I just, like play around until it looks okay uh, yeah I also did a volume map added principal volume uh, how is this called like like proof and irradiance volume yeah so I increased the resolution yeah these are my settings for the for the irradiance volume and what I did is go into indirect light and baked it it takes a little bit, but it really helps sell the the cycles look. Uh, hopefully, we'll we are gonna have like this indirect like uh, baked into into EV. Like you you don't have to bake it. But something like Lumen in Unreal. Uh, but yeah, for now we have to bake it. It's not that like hard. Like it doesn't take that much and like it makes your scene look a lot better. This uh, vibe or this color vibe, I added two yellow lights on top so that the whole volume looks a little bit yellowish and you have like those ray casting uh, lights on the, on the ceiling, which helps a lot, I think. So yeah, that's pretty much the scene. Oh yeah, uh, 
last of all there's just these uh, images of of a city I also made this a little bit far uh, a little bit farther away so uh, so the parallax works a little bit better with the camera I don't know if it helps or it if it doesn't it was a little bit like it was easy to do it I just cut it out of the main city and placed it back but yeah that's pretty much it for the rug it was like this image of a rug <laughs> and I just changed the yeah I, I, I just passed it through a color ramp and then into a bump and that created like this effect I also up the sheen and the roughness so yeah that's pretty much the the whole scene if you have any questions just let me know uh, but yeah see you